Hello, good evening. My name is Benjamin Clark and this is Armchair Cicerone. Today we will be talking about a sour beer and also some poetry. Read by me, but written by a great band and a great, great author. Uh, this would be uh, Arctic Monkeys. I'm just doing a snippet of one of their songs because it is a long song, but stick around and I will tell you what that is. So today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite breweries that does sours that I had the pleasure of working with and visiting uh, in Portland two years ago uh, when I was beer brand manager for a distributor. So this would be the Cascade Brewing Citrus Song. Citrus Sage, I'm sorry. Uh, now this is a barrel aged wheat ale with sage, tea, pe lemon peel, coriander, and salt. So this is 10 months in oak barrels, probably uh, white wine oak barrels. Uh, not first use, probably multiple uses. They do a lot of that stuff. Um, this is 5.3%, so this is gonna be sour, herbal, citrusy, and piney. So let's give it a pour. Right off the bat, you can smell that kind of citrus, medicinal, herbaceous uh, quality to it. We're just going to go and give it a nice pour. Agitate it a little bit to get a good head. And I'm going to leave this can up here so you can see what I'm drinking, even while I'm talking. Right there. So, it looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at that right there. Smells great. Uh, smells like honey. You can smell a little bit of the, uh, the, the salinity in there. <sighs> a little bit of that barrel funk too, which is nice. It does follow through with what I expect Cascade to be really mouth puckering, but not as aggressive as a lot of other sours out there. This is really nice, uh, smooth for what it is. And 5.3, you can really drink this during the summer at any time. Um, and you can still keep on drinking something after it. So this is really pleasant. I would pair this with uh, fish. Um, right off the bat, my mind goes to salmon, either broiled. Uh, I wouldn't do anything heavy like smoking with it. It would just take over uh, pork chops to be great. Maybe a, uh, a steak but lightly seasoned, maybe with some um, something acidic with it too. Um, a little bit sweet, sweet and acid with that, with this. Chicken, of course, turkey. I mean, this would be great for Thanksgiving. The sage is there, it's present, but it's not overbearing, which is really, really pleasant. Yeah, so I started doing this Really, the idea came from, first off, a joke, but looking at this chair and seeing that it's a beautiful chair, 60 bucks. I drove around, got it, brought it home, set this up, and uh, <laughs> it, I gotta tell you, like, my mind's been racing about things that I want to do with this. Uh, maybe even make a YouTube channel, um, really try new beers and experience beers, and put this out there for people who may not be able to experience it, may not know much about beer. Um, before I left the beer industry, I was making silly videos and videos uh, informational for people, my clients, uh, and just people who go on the website of the YouTube channel and get to know something before they try it and hopefully go out there and buy it. Um, this is more about just experiencing talking to you, seeing what you feel about this beer. I mean, this is the first can I've seen of Cascade on the East Coast. They they do their, um, excuse me, they do their IPAs and cans over there, but I mean, you'll never see those over here. Um, but this is a huge step for them. Um, canning sours for sure. Oh man, that is so good. And the more I drink and the more it stays open, that sourness is not as present. It's really light and really delicious. 
I wish you guys can try it. It will be in stores. I mean, it should be in stores right now. Um, <clears throat> so I know this is uh, starting off at OnlyFans, but this is just about to get to know each other. This is not, you know, something serious. Uh, I really want to talk beer. I want to talk whiskey, wine, poetry, all that stuff. Uh, this isn't scripted. This is straight off the cuff. Um, not doing multiple takes. This is just me uh, in a robe. That's it. There's nothing on under here. Just a robe and a chair and candles. I love candles. Don't you? So let's get this reading. This isn't the entire song, but it is a pleasant song. It's called Knee Socks by Arctic Mon Monkeys. You got the lights on in the afternoon, and then nights are drawn out long, and you're kissing to cut through the gloom with a cough drought colored tongue. And you were sitting in the corner with the coats all piled high, and I thought you might be mine. In a small world on an exceptionally rainy Monday, <laughs> night in the in the right place in time now that was just the first part of the song but it really captures this gloom and doom that i've had um not so much like relationship wise but being alone in uh covid and alone during the time with nothing to do you know people to talk to yes but my mind goes racing and I start thinking about college, start thinking about other past relationships that I've had. Uh, and it comes down to just wanting to be with somebody, friends, family, and that song just, it's silly, but it also hits there. Uh, something that like, I think everybody's been in, of, you know, seeing someone meeting someone you thought it was going to go somewhere and then they were just passed out not doing anything sometimes you can't control life that's okay as long as you make it out you know the people beside you who can help you share a beer with <sighs> the pleasant teas the pleasant trees <laughs> 